All right, so now we got the head on the port end stand. And what we're gonna do now is come with the grinder and we're gonna remove this. And we're gonna just clean up some of this and we're gonna sand roll the inside of this and sand roll all of this and get this all ready and prepped for welding. Did the bulk amount of the material removal on the mill because that's always faster. It's a pretty big job if you guys are gonna undertake this. So a lot of machine work, a lot of work, a lot of labor hours. But we're gonna clean this up with the grinder and I'll show you what we got. All right, so this is what we ended up with. We've taken and just come over this with the burr. We still haven't gone over with a sand roll, but this is just the first step. So this is the oil passage that would have normally been here. Would have came out here and gone up here. We're gonna fill this all in and build this out to about here with weld. Fill this all in, bring this, fill this all in and fill all over here with weld. And these are the two port angles I've been messing with. And uh, if you look at the way it would line up, you're gonna need that material up here. This is the steeper of the two. This is the more shallow of the two. Now it's gonna have a bigger seat. So when you put a bigger seat, this short side gets closer in the direction of the port. So this turn here will happen a lot sooner. So you'll be able to see a lot more of this port because this seat is getting bigger. So that means this wall here is coming back towards us. So you can't go too steep because you don't want to direct it down here and create a big belly in the port. You need to keep the walls of the port very straight. That's how you keep the port speed up. So I think I'm going to go with the shallower of the two. Basically about there. Something about like this angle here. Obviously this will all be removed in there. Once we fill that in with weld and remove it. That it's gonna be something like that with a big huge 42 millimeter intake. So things gonna be breathing all the air. This is gonna be pretty radical. Just to give you an idea, that's straight. And then that's the angle we're going to. So it's a pretty radical change. It's gonna be pretty cool. So we'll get back to you with the next step. All right, so I think we left off where we were just doing and finishing up the welding of this intake tube. I <clears throat> uh, forgot to do some filming. Um, next one would have been uh, the welding of the chamber. We did put in the guides, welded the chamber, um, did mill the, mill the deck surface, the rough cut. Um, now what we're going to do is put the new seats in. And then we're going to shape the chamber. Then we're going to port the head. So uh, old seats. These are the old seats here. Just your standard stock seats. This is the intake. This is the exhaust. And we're going to... From a 36 to a 42. And we're using a copper. And we're going to a 38 millimeter exhaust. We're doing the uh, the mold star copper seat. So uh, these are the new valves here. Titanium retainers, 80 pound springs, custom valves. Um, so yeah, next is going to be, and we, we're going from like a stock style 6.5 to the uh, Burns to uh, Bushin. Um, sorry, bronze guides. But yeah. So next we shape uh put in the seats, cut our corner bores on the mill, cut our seat pockets, and then uh press in the seats and then do our we'll probably take a grinder, uh roughly remove some, then we'll do the radius on shrouding shrouding, and then we'll blend in the uh chamber shape. We'll blend in down here and do some relief on the exhaust side. Uh, basically like its eyebrow and give it that shape that we've really found we like 
And then uh, once we get the chamber shape and the seat in, we'll be able to uh, do the porting. So stay tuned.